Good morning, everyone. Welcome to morning prayer at St. Peter's. I'm, my name is Marilyn Jacob. I was away from you last week, so I'm back again, and I'm looking forward to just sharing the Lord with you this morning. So let's begin. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give, in everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let's say together a song of God's grace. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus and a magnificent blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love, you destined us to be your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed upon us in the beloved the night has passed and the day lies open before us let us pray with one heart and mind as we rejoice in the gift of this new day so may the light of your presence O god set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever amen, amen. psalm for today is psalm 135 Praise the Lord, praise the name of the Lord, praise him, you servants of the Lord. Who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is gracious. Sing praises to his name, for it is good. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel as his own possession. I know that the Lord is great and that our Lord is above all gods. He does whatever he wills, in heaven and on the earth, in the seas and in the great depths. He brings up clouds from the ends of the earth. He makes lightning for the rain, <coughs> excuse me, for the, <coughs> for the rain, and brings the wind out of his storehouses. He struck down the forest of thorn in Egypt, both man and beast alike. <coughs> He sent signs and wonders into your midst, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and against all his servants. He struck down great nations and slew mighty kings. Sion, king of the Amorites, and Og, the king of Bashan, and all the princes of Canaan. He made over their land as a heritage, a heritage for Israel was his people. O Lord, your name shall endure forever, <coughs> so shall your renown <coughs> throughout all generations. For the Lord will vindicate his people, he will Lord, take pity on his servants. As for the idols of the nations, they are but silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but speak not. They have eyes, but can, they cannot see. They have ears, yet hear nothing. There is no breath in their nostrils. Those who make them <coughs> shall be like them. So shall everyone that trusts in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. Bless the Lord, O house of Aaron. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. You that fear the Lord, Bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord from Zion, he that dwells in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> we consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words, and actions be well pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from Acts, chapter 21, verse 27 to 39. When the seven days were almost completed, the Jews from Asia, who had seen him in the temple, stirred up the whole crowd. 
They seized him, shouting, Fellow Israelites, help! This is the man who is teaching everyone everywhere against, <laughs> against our people, our law, and this place. More than that, he has actually brought Greeks into the temple and has defiled this holy place. For they had previously seen Trophimus and the Ephesian with him in the city, and they supposed that Paul had brought him into the temple. Then all the city was aroused, and the people rushed together. They seized Paul and dragged him out of the temple, and immediately the doors were shut. While they were trying to kill him, word came to the tribune of the cohort that all Jerusalem was in an uproar. Immediately, he took the soldiers and centurions and ran down to them. When they saw the tribune and the soldiers, they stopped beating Paul. Then the tribune came, arrested him, and ordered him to be bound with two chains. He inquired who he was and what he had done. Some in the crowd shouted one thing and some another, and as he could not learn the facts because of the uproar, he ordered him to be brought into the barracks. When Paul came to the steps, the violence of the mob was so great that he had to be carried by the soldiers. The crowd that followed kept shouting, away with him. Just as Paul was about to be brought into the barracks, he said to the tribune, may I say something to you? The tribune replied, do you know Greek? Then you are not the Egyptian who recently stirred up a revolt and led the 4,000 assassins into the wilderness? And Paul replied, I am a Jew from Tarsus in Sicilia, uh, Cilicia, a citizen of the, an important city, and I beg you, let me speak to the people. May your word live in us and, and bear, bear much fruit <coughs> to your, your glory. glory. Let's say together a song of Christ's goodness. Jesus, Jesus as, as a mother, mother you, you gave your, your people to you. People to you. you. you, you are, are gentle with us, as, as a mother with, with her children. children. Often you weep over our sin and, and pride. pride. Tenderly you draw us from hatred and judgment. You comfort us in sorrow and bind up our wounds. In sickness you nurse us and with pure milk you feed us. Jesus, by your dying, we are born to new life. By your anguish and labor, we come forth in joy. Despair turns to hope through your sweet goodness, through your gentleness. We find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy, heal us. In your love and tenderness, remake us. In your compassion, bring grace and forgiveness for the beauty of heaven. May your love prepare us. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sin, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And the prayer of the week. Creator God, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they find their rest in you. Teach us to offer ourselves to your service, that here we may have your peace, and in the world to come may see your face to face. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come and meet with you this morning. Give rest to our hearts as we come before you, before the day starts and the busyness gets out of hand. 
Help us to be mindful of your presence. Help us to be mindful of the words we speak. Help us to be mindful of not hurting other people by our words, our actions, and even our thoughts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Father, the world is in such turmoil at the moment. On our television screens, we see the blazing fires in nations that cannot have control over it. We see floods t taking away homes and livelihoods and possessions and livestock. We see on our television screens the pandemic raging through countries that don't have vaccines. On our television screens, we see the horrific turmoil that's happening in Afghanistan. Lord, we pray for your divine peace. Our world and your creation is in such a mess. You created beauty, Lord, out of blackness. You created such wonderful creation and we have messed it up. Forgive the humanity of this world, Lord, for its greed and for its power over the creation. Mindless industry just taking everything from the earth and not putting it back. We pray for our next generation who have to take responsibility of the mess that we, the elder generation, have created. So forgive us, Lord. Forgive us for our greed and our enmity in not looking after your creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for our leaders of all nations. We pray that they have your love and your sense of direction in their hearts for the people that they lead. Today we pray for President Biden, Prime Minister Johnson, Prime Minister Scott Morrison, the Taliban leaders who have taken over Afghanistan. And we pray for all leaders in countries where there is turmoil, unrest and war that they will seek the common good and that they will seek peace for their nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, today in our own part of this world, we pray for the people of Wynnum. We pray that we can see your face in the face of a stranger, that we can hold out our hands to help them that we can love them as you love them. And today we pray for the sick in our community who have, who have asked us for their prayers. We pray for all who are going through procedures today. And we pray especially for Richard, who is not feeling too good today. I just ask that you put your healing hand upon him and give him rest today. And we also pray for all of the others on our prayer list. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Christ Jesus, that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning. 
If you enjoyed our presence this morning on morning prayer, please like us on YouTube. Any comments, please send it to stpeterswinham.org. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day. Bless you. Bye-bye.